Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what? You know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, I'll let your boy when we get home. Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. I like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow from Sports TV. Bomb Squad, man. All right, man. It was somebody sent this to me. I'll keep their name anonymous. Uh, they probably don't really care. But, you know, uh, Fred had Leon Muhammad on his show. I don't know when. Uh, I, I would guess this was not too far in not too far in the past, but uh, he had Leon Muhammad on the show, and Leon Muhammad revealed that Floyd Mayweather, uh, not Floyd Mayweather, Errol Spence, yeah, he had him on the show. It was less than 17 hours ago, so he, he had him on the show, and excuse me, he revealed that uh, Errol Spence has a tax problem, Okay. He revealed Earl Spence had a tax. He has a tax problem, and that that's why he's fighting. You know, um, so. Uh, Let's talk about it. And then, you know, a lot of people want to go here and say, you know, guys like me are hating on Earl Spence, man. Well, I'm saying is from a boxing, from a boxing standpoint, that's it. Like I said, I don't know this man personally, and I don't know if this is this has validity now. It's being reported by Leon Muhammad, who has the inside track on boxing. You know, who knows a lot about Al Heyman seems to be. You know, uh, uh, Al Heyman detractor uh, uh, used to be pro Al Heyman channel. You know, it's now leaking. It's a channel that, you know, Earl Spence calls into. And now they're saying that, you know, Earl has tax problems. So a, a show that a, a brother that Earl Spence trusts or likes enough to call in this show is now reporting that he has tax issues. And then on top of that, that wasn't a spontaneous thing. I know for a fact that wasn't a spontaneous, a spontaneous thing. Fred knew that Leon Muhammad was going to say that. Okay? The person who sent it to me told me that he knew that he told him to text him to watch the show tonight. So now Floyd, I mean, now Fred beef with Floyd Mayweather and Al Heyman knows no bounds. Now a guy who showed love to a channel, a guy that will call in, spontaneously to show love for it love and probably granted Floyd interviews before. Now Earl Spence is just a casualty of a war against Al Heyman. That's not going to go nowhere for Fred. Fred got too many loopholes. He got too many bass marks. He got, he's sitting here and he talking about he pro black, but he was sitting here kicking it up with the, the same Oscar De La Hoya that they call the racist. He was, he was chopping it up with him not too long ago. You know, showing them love sitting up there with a panel of Mexicans, however you want to go. Chopping it up about chopping it up about you know about how good you know Oscar De La Hoya Golden Boy was. It's old footage of him saying that. Come on. And now somebody that he considers a homeboy in Earl Spence, somebody who helped take his career to the next level, boxing wise. You know, he throwing him under the bus. He knew Leon Muhammad was gonna say that. And if Earl Spence got tax problems, who 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 fought is that? Who problem is that? Who problem is that? That ain't that ain't uh everybody uh excuse me that ain't everybody's business to know. At all, that ain't there anybody business to know. And that just lets you know what type of person the local dummy boss community is. And why do they keep Fred around? You know, because Fred got connections. In a minute, Fred not going to have no connections. He had Whitlock on, right? 
He didn't let nobody come on and disrespect Woodlock and ask Woodlock the tough questions. He booted he booted the ticket off. Right? And, and Fred's a proud black man, right? Fred got all you niggas banned. Everybody that was there and was affiliated with anybody at that fight where he pressed Andre Ward, he got everybody that was there banned. Maybe temporarily, maybe permanently. You know, a top rank was willing to give Fred his credentials back, but Fred didn't want to act right. Sam was going to give Fred his credentials back. Fred didn't want to act right. And now Fred got a personal vendetta, and now he's throwing his homeboy Earl Spence under the table. It wasn't like he didn't know Leon Muhammad. I'm telling you, it's a fact. He knew Leon Muhammad was going to say that about Earl Spence had a tax problem. And now he's trying to come up off of Earl's, off of Earl's, you know, what it could be, it could be true. It couldn't be true, it could be. His tax problem could be a dollar. His tax problem could be a hundred thousand. His tax dollar could be whatever it was. We know Floyd had tax issues. Clint Porter was talking about how, you know, how people get tax issues. Somehow you pay them, you pay the taxes you're supposed to pay, then they say you're not paying enough. So after all, we might get that, that Terrence Crawford fight because he need the money. You know, y'all going around here, and if this, if this is true, this is allegedly, this is according to Leon Muhammad. And this is true, he might have to fight three, three times next year. You know, people said, well, somebody came on my channel a week, couple weeks ago, Earl can retire. Apparently this nigga can't. If this story is true, allegedly, he can't. You know, who, who tell, you know, we talking about Logan Paul said he 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 they didn't pay him his money. Who we'll know what they're doing with, with Earl? They somehow they get paid once a month. You get that guarantee up front, whatever it is, they report lower guarantee for, for, for financials and you know their reasons, and then you know, tomorrow he got a tax issue. You know, but this is a dude that y'all say is pro-black. And then when he, he he talking about the tax issue, he when Leon Muhammad said it, when he said, hold on, he started laughing. When he said he started laughing, bro. When he said he got a tax issue, the man started laughing. He started laughing. I thought that was supposed to be Earl Friend. He started laughing. Crazy, right? This nigga Earl was just called in not too long ago. Now, you know, you spreading propaganda. You spread, you spreading his personal business. Now you spreading his personal business. And, and that's wild, bro. You say you you a friend, you ain't a friend, baby. You come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. He knew that man was gonna come on and say that, bro. But ain't talking about I'm hurting on Earl, man. I ain't never set nobody up on my show. I ain't never set no guest up. I ain't never hood when nobody make you think we cool and we ain't cool. If anybody that I ain't cool with, they felt some type of way. It wasn't intentional. Niggas just sensitive. You know, somebody got mad at me because somebody called them niggas ugly in the comment section years ago. What you want me to do, nigga? Shit, you, you ugly, you ugly, nigga. Either you believe it or you don't believe it. That ain't my personal opinion. I ain't say he was ugly, nigga. Shit, they said you ugly. What you want me to believe him for him frying your ass? You better fry him back. Never set nobody up on my shit. Never. I ain't even cut like that. But he had that man go on there and reveal you had tax issues or lie you had lie about you having tax issues. To me, that was some whole shit. That's exactly what that was. Exactly what that was, bro. And who and who moving like that? Somebody that show you. Live. So if you cool with Fred, you better keep your your personal inf information to yourself. You better keep your personal information to yourself. 
Look how my look how he moving, bro. Look how he moving, bro. He threw that man under the table. That man was showing you love. And look how you do it because you got a bandana against Al. You can't take an L, L versus Al because Al endorsed Kelly Swanson over you. She he gonna keep endorsing Kelly Swanson over you. If he still let Stevie Kim in, and Stevie Kim just said some racist shit about Al, what you crying about? Cause you got banned. What you crying for? You know, Fred just a nigga who who got a complex because he ain't got no black wife. He ain't really black. He know he really ain't like the black that he you know that he he strive to be. You know, he just don't embrace who he on. He just he got the money. He not happy. He got the money. He not happy. And now he want to relate to people who really grew up the way he wish he grew up, man. There, there ain't no sign of honor, man. You got the money, you know. Be happy, bro. Be happy. Go back to covering the Clippers. But you now you tearing down people that, that you cool with. And then you laughing on camera. Tell Earl to watch a nigga laugh on camera. Well, Leon Muhammad said it because he knew he was going to sit and he threw you right up under the bus. But you you concerned about what niggas like me saying it's just boxing. Now, I ain't the one. How would I know if, if that old boy was chasing you and you? that's the reason why you crashed? Hey, I ain't put that out there. I got that from some Dallas niggas. So, you know, you need to check your own community. You need to put a gate around your community, bro. You know, and I heard them Dallas niggas started to kind of change, charge change on you because you, because you let them bud punk you. Now, you know, that's just boxing stuff. You know, how the nigga all the way thousands of miles away in Detroit know that happened? Come on, put a gator on your community, bro. They starting to they starting to change on you. When you don't feed the when you don't feed the wolves, they can eat you. You're not giving them, you know, they doing all this, you know, yip yapping, they doing all that lead blocking for you. They doing all that lead blocking for you. And they starting to see that, you know, you don't want to fight Bud. But you know, you know, this is way serious, bro. They talking about your personal finances. And so many people went around and said you made more money than Bud, you got more bank than Bud, and you could retire. And apparently, you know, you know, that was a lie. If this is true with Leon Muhammad said. But you know, Fred allowed him, knowing he was gonna say that, to come on your platform and tear you down to get back at Al Hamer. So you still, you know, you're gonna blacklist, you're gonna blacklist Fred. Because you already know what Fred is. Y'all both ain't got black wives, I heard. So maybe that's why y'all funk sway. Y'all be talking about, you know, y'all the blackest people in the room, man. Can't lead the black, you can't lead the black revolution with the other on your arm. And I don't care about none of the, the other great black men that had the other on their arm. It's not a sign of uh, it's not a sign of dominance, it's not a sign of success. You don't see Amish people go out there and put a, a non-Amish person on their arm and say, you know, I'm successful. You don't see Jewish people do it, say I'm successful. Only time that people, you know, you know, like that do that is when other when when other people have so much to bring. If you got that, you know, a lot of money, you got that basil bag, you got way more money than them. That's the only time the family sign off on that. So maybe that's why they can relate to each other. I don't know. I don't know. I don't try to make this personal. It's boxing. Try to put a little joke in there, but now when your own people starting to turn on you, you know, your community turning on you, you know, now Fred turning on you, what's next? What's next? I want to see him keep the same energy for Fred that he had for uh, I.B. whatever Correa ass. Because Correa just went to the back and he wasn't supposed to beat her and they blacklisted Correa. Okay, he made a mistake. It is what it is. He shouldn't have been in the locker room. Bam. But Fred out here putting your personal information, even this is a lie or if it's the truth. It ain't even nowhere in the middle. He knew that dude was going to say that. So I want to see them keep the same energy for Fred, but they don't say nothing to Fred because... Fred got the connection for them to keep getting interviews. That's it. So, hey, you know, nobody else going to talk about this. I spit on it. Uh, but, hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Check the Box News playlist out. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. On my link description, you got a business question, inquiry, sponsor, video request. On my social media description, let me know what you girls and guys think. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. Going to the bottom of the screen. PayPal link description. Cash app, Venmo. Use the name description. Best way to donate. 
thumbs up, comment, subscribe to the bell, but subscribe to the channel. That's the next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Appreciate your chance to get notifications. You go live, drop a video. Appreciate the love support. One time for the one time fees.